In times of sorrow, love heals. In all times, love remembers. Keep the memories close to your heart and know that God will give you strength for the days ahead. You are in our prayers today, thinking of you with love at this sad time, Claudia and Aaron Haynes. He listens when you feel alone or need someone to talk to. He comforts if you have to cry sometimes. He answers when you call out. Late in the midnight hour, he shelters with his goodness all the time. Someday, not now, and perhaps not for a long while, you will remember all you shared with less pain and more joy. But for now, just know, God walks beside you every moment of every day to comfort you. In deepest sympathy, we are lifting the Logan family in prayer. Love the Bergetsi family. Wishing you peace. As you remember and mourn your loss, know that you are being thought of with warmth and sympathy. 
Aaron and Claudia Haynes, in memory of a life well lived, created to love and be loved, created to shine with an inspiring, one-of-a-kind light in our world, created to enjoy forever the one who gave his all to make them his child. Thanking God for your loved one's life and praying for strength and comfort for your family. Love Anna, Brenda, and family, but as it is, they desire a better country. That is a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, he has prepared a city for them. Bless you, girl. You will always be looking over you. Troy and Sophie, said, Sophia love you. Well, that was a good first one. My sister. Henry West Lowy Jr., Sunrise, August 7, 1934, Sunset, January 31st, 2021. Henry West Logan Jr. was born on August 7, 1934, in Old Arkansas, to Adela Earl and Henry West Logan Sr. In his formative years, Henry West Logan Jr. went by the name Henry Earl after his stepfather, until he was told of his birth name. Henry overcame a lot in his early years. He dealt with racism, bullying, abuse from his stepfather, and abandonment. Nonetheless, he persevered and developed the strength and the knack for fighting. He would say, stay calm while fighting and beat your opponent to the punch. This was all, of course, before he started to form a collection of guns and then fighting was no longer necessary. <laughs> 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 That's true, Uncle. Yeah, he he always had a rifle with him. He enjoyed track and field and was a skilled baseball and soccer player. Henry went to Edison High School until the 10th grade when he was expelled for standing up too much in front of his class. He was a
Can we say amen? Amen. 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 Thank you so much for reading those expressions of love and condolences. At this time, we're going to have a poem read by Nazarene Hall. She's not here. She's not here. However, we will bring her back when she does come. At this time, we're going to uh, open the floor and allow words of expression to be uh, made at this time. Please be mindful of the time. I will tell you now that I am a timekeeper. You will say, if you talk too long, I will stand up. If you keep talking, I will come uh, alongside you, and uh, hopefully I will have to do that. We do have enough service. <laughs> another service uh, that will be following this one, and so we want to be mindful of uh, all that is entailed. Again, if you like that word of expression, please let us know if you can. So two minutes. Our last, uh, thank you again for your understanding and cooperation. And uh, the floor is now open. You can come to the podium at my left. And should you care to express condolences or words of, uh, of love and reflection?
sister's house and I go, hey, who, who suburban's got out front? My sister, that's my friend. Henry told me a little time later that I'm going to be your brother's <laughs> office. <laughs> time to pass, they were married. He always had this black hat. I said, uh, let, let me use that hat. He goes, I can direct where you can go get one. <laughs> so he did. He stopped, you know. I just want to say, um, um, he's going to be wearing this. Uh, I got a message from my twin brother in Mobile, Alabama. I wish he could be here. But um, due to the timing, I want to say uh, thank you at this time. Good morning. Cause I'm 
don't want to close the service out until she has made her arrival and have had words of expression. But my brothers and sisters, if you knew anything about uh, Brother Logan when it came, and the only place I observed him as a child growing up was at church. And, uh, and uh, as I think my sister alluded to the fact that uh, when the Lord would really get, when the Spirit of the Lord would get high in the service, he would just try to hold it. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
and see about me. I, I don't believe, I don't believe that Brother Henry suffered and agonized as one who didn't have any hope. But I believe that he knew that his anchor was holding on and gripping that solid rock. My brothers and sisters, we have come to uh, this time and season in our life where we all will have to give record, give an account. I don't know if you have been paying attention, but people have been having private raptures all around us. Yeah. The bells have been tolling all around us. And I believe that we all have to uh, pay attention and to make sure that we have made our reservation to spend eternity with God. You see, when it's all said and done, it does not matter the differences and the issues that once separated us. When it's all said and done, the thing that we have to be assured of is that we have made peace with God. Uh, all that we see, all that we have experienced is, is fleeting. Time is fleeting. But the one thing that is consistent, the one thing that is constant is eternity with God. It, it behooves us, it behooves us, whatever, whatever your challenge is, it behooves you to make sure that you are at peace with God. It behooves you to make sure that you have, uh, in the part of your sin, made that declaration of faith to receive him as your Lord and Savior. You have a cloud of witnesses. Brother Henry is now among those cloud of witnesses uh, that have ascended and that have uh, uh, that are in a place of rest and are waiting that glorious moment of resurrection and because they have crossed over my brothers and sisters when it's all said and done look past the victory, look past the fighting, look past the petty things of life don't let people so easily beset you, don't let uh, uh, challenges, trials uh, 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 situations don't allow them to get the best of you to the point where you lose your soul. Hold not grudges. Hold not animosity. Hold not bitterness. Hold not anger in your heart. But make sure that you have a forgiving heart because you don't know when your time will come. And as we have been seeing, there is no schedule of death. Come on. I said there is no schedule of death. You, you can't plan it. It just, it just happened. It has been happening that God is trying to give us a wake up call. You don't know when your time might be. But at least we bless God that Brother Henry lived a long life. I know some people might have wanted it. Wanted, you know, it's, it's really amazing. When people count you out, God counts you in. Can I tell you something? Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit. God never plays fair. I said, God never plays fair. Sometimes God favors. God, God puts up, takes down. God raises up kings, dispossesses kings. Sometimes God, in his masterful wisdom, will extend life, extend days. We look at the outer appearance, but God knows the heart. Some people, some people are still alive, not because you like them. <laughs> but there's something special about their heart to God. I'm saying something. Sometimes we misjudge folks. We written people off because we don't care for them. But God don't look at folks like you look at them. God said, I will bless a man or woman according to the deeds of their heart. What are you saying, Prophet John? Make sure that your heart is right. Forget what people think. Make sure your heart is right. Because that's what's going to tell of the favor and the goodness and the grace of God. Is what is in your heart. When you're kind to folks, when you're nice to folks, that kindness, that generosity, that goodness will come back to you. God is mindful of that. My brothers and sisters, thank you for allowing me the space and time to have words of expression. Eul eulogy in the Greek comes from the word eulogia, which means to bless. I don't really have to say a whole lot to bless his life. He lived a very long, fruitful life. You can see the evidence of his fruit sitting among you. So we bless God that God has blessed and kept him. And uh, now I'm going to relinquish 
master and, and allow his daughter. We're so grateful for um, her and what God is doing in Antoinette's life. And will you just do me a favor? Just give God a praise. If you can stand, stand. I thank God for my sister. Come on, let's proceed.